Good morning, dear students. Welcome to you to your alternative English class. Today we are going to start a prose. But before starting, let me tell you one thing. In a prose, there are three units. Your first unit is the adventure of learning. But this unit contains four chapters. And out of the four chapters, your first chapter is memories of Crossgate School. Second chapter is make me child just for tonight. Third one is confession of a misspent youth. Fourth one is a time to think. So today we are going to read your first chapter, and the chapter's name is Memories of Crossgates School. Crossgates is the name of a school. Who has written this chapter? George Orwell. And George Orwell's real name is Eric Arthur Blair. But George Orwell is his pen name with this name only he is renowned throughout the world and George Orwell has taken bath in the year 1903 on 25th June and died in the year 1950 on 21st January he was an English novelist essayist journalist and critic understood it this much only needed to need know on the writer as you know, the title is Memories of Crosscut School. Why Memories of School is mentioned here? Why not College is mentioned here? Because anyone, you know, if you ask them which time period is the most memorable one of your life throughout your academic session, they will definitely answer you school life. If now also I am going to ask you, you will speak on school life. After five years, if I ask you, also will answer the same thing, school life. Why? School life is filled with knowledge, with beauty, with lots of mischiefs also and occasional scolding with proper guidance. Okay, All these things are there in the school life only. That's why school life is the most memorable one in a person's life. Understood it? Here, George Orwell is also focusing on his school life. I have not written the complete chapter because it's quite big one. So while watching the video, you just go through your book. Go through line by line, I will discuss it. Look at the book. I have good memories of cross gates. Initially, the writer, George Orwell, is speaking that he is having a lot of good memories on cross sketch among a horde of bad one horde means number of along with the good one he is also having a number of bad memories sometimes on summer afternoons there were wonderful expeditions expedition means what long and dangerous journey were wonderful expeditions across the downs Downs is what? It is a stretch of grassland. I have written some of the difficult words, okay? Downs. A stretch of grassland. So, here Orwell has mentioned that he is having some good memories among a number of bad memories. And sometimes in the summer afternoon, they were having wonderful long journeys across the grassland or to Bleachy Head. And what is Bleachy Head? Bleachy Head is the name of a pond. It is the name of a place where a pond is being there. Bleachy Head where one bath dangerously among the chalk boulders. Chalk boulders means what? The place where sharp stones are there, pointed stones are there and if you are jumping, you will get cuts on your body. Okay? So, out to the Bleachy Head where one bath dangerously among the chalk boulders and came home covered with cuts and what were they doing they're going to the beachy heads they were moving across the towns and they were taking bath there and when they are returning home their body is being cut with number of cut marks and there were still more wonderful midsummer evenings and evening was also more wonderful when as a special treat, as a special offer, 
we are not driven off to bed they were not allowed to sleep as usual but allowed to wander about the grounds in the long twilight and what was the most wonderful thing in the summer evenings they were not asked evening means particularly it is evening mentioned but it must be night because they were not asked to go to sleep they were not allowed to go to sleep but they were allowed to move in the grassland in the twilight evening time is mentioned here okay so in the evening time in the long twilight and ending up with a plunge plunge means jump into the swimming bath at about 9 o'clock 9 o'clock is mentioned means evening time night time both are combined here okay means in the evening they are allowed to go out at night also they are taking bath in the swimming pool and at 9 pm what were they doing they are jumping they are plunging into the swimming pool there was the joy of waking early on summer mornings and friends they were living definitely the writer was living in hostel okay i think so and in the summer morning they were getting up early and getting in an hours on the stuff reading and for one one hour they were reading that was also on disturb they were not disturbed by anyone they were busy in reading something ian he thakri kipling and h g wells were the favorite authors of my boyhood here who were the favorite authors of the writer they were ian he ian he thakri kipling H G Wells These were the favorite authors of the writer in his young age means when he was in the school but in sunlight in the sunlit sleeping dormitory dormitory means what a big room where beds are available and a large number of people can sleep together means they can sleep in a single room so here in the summer morning they were getting up early and for one hour they were not getting any disturbance but what were they doing they were reading whatever they like and what was the writer doing he was reading his favorite author's book there was also cricket which i was no good at but with which i conducted a sort of hopeless love affair up to the age of about 18 and in the morning they were also playing cricket and here the writer has mentioned that he was not good at cricket but still he was playing and one word is mentioned that is conducted a sort of hopeless love affair means you love someone but you know that the result will be zero that is hopeless love affair so here <coughs> it was known to the writer that he is not good at cricket he can't be a cricketer in the future but still he was playing cricket because others were also playing and there was the pleasure of keeping caterpillar the silky green and purple pusmo these are the insects and ghostly green polar poplar hawk the private hawk large as one's third finger and apart from this he was also keeping some insect with him this the pleasure of keeping caterpillar he was keeping caterpillar and the silky green and purple pusmoth the ghostly green polar hawk the private hawk large as one's third finger means this one this much length specimen they were having specimen of which could be illicitly purchased for 6 pence at a shop in the town and what were they doing they not only catching this thing they were also purchasing these things illicitly means illegally they are purchasing by giving money in the market what were they doing with these insects it did not mention anywhere and and when one could escape long enough from the master who was taking the work taking the work means the watchman and it was quite difficult to escape from the watchman he wa- who was watching there there was the excitement of dressing dressing means what uh dragging a eh? bag net along the bottom to collect biological specimen to have a bag net bag means this type of bag okay bag is there 
and uh, something stick is mentioned here and you have to hold it. So they are holding that one and they were catching some specimen of some insect. The dew ponds and where were they doing dew ponds means natural ponds. Some natural ponds they were just freezing and holding the insect. <coughs> On the downs for innermost nudes with orange color bellies, nudes means insect. For a number of insects with orange color belly means they were also holding small insects there. The business of being out for a walk, coming across something of fascinating interest and then being dragged away from it by yell from the master like a dog jerked onwards by the leash is an important feature of school life. See what is mentioned. It is mentioned that the business of being out for a walk Sometimes they are going out to work, coming across something of fascinating interest and while sometimes they were also watching something which was quite interesting, too much fascinating and then being dragged away from it by well, well means shout, okay. And when they were watching something interesting, they were being caught by the collar and they were being dragged by the master, by the security person. Like a dog jerked onwards by the lace means by holding the shirt, by the holding the neck, they might be dragged by the person. And these things are the important feature of school life. It must have happened with you. Whenever you are doing something mischief, your teachers are holding you from your neck, from sometimes it happens, not always. And and perhaps and all these things are happening is an important feature of school life and perhaps to build up the conviction. Conviction means what? Strong belief. Okay. Now tell me why were the boys dragged by the watchman or whoever the person might be because they were doing something but they were having fun in doing that thing. They were fascinated, they were attracted by that one but they were prevented by the master. Yes or no? And they were being dragged just as a dog is being jerked by the less. And when all these things are happening with them, they build a strong conviction, strong belief. And what is that? So strong in many children that the things you most want to do are always unattainable. And the strong belief is that things that you really want to do is always unattainable. You can't attain the things that you really want to do. Understood it? This is your unit. Means this unit. Memories of Crosscut School. So here what is the theme? Here the writer has mentioned that he is having number of bad memory as well as good memory. And some good memories are that they are going on long journey. They are taking bath in the chalk boulders. And it was dangerously they were taking bath. And sometimes they were jumping in the swimming pool by 9 p.m. But in the early morning, he was getting one hour undisturbed reading. Means the, they were reading for one hour in the sleeping dormitory. He was reading his favorite books, Ian Hay, Kipling, Thakur and H.G. Wells. And apart from this, it is also mentioned that he was playing cricket. But he was not good at cricket. So he was developing a sort of hopeless love affair with the cricket even when he doesn't like it. He was not good at cricket but still he was playing cricket and then they were going to market and purchasing some biological insect illicitly by paying some money and sometimes they when they were doing something fascinating that attract them a lot they are being dissuaded they are being zapped by the master with a shout and all these things were happening means whatever they like to do they were not allowed to do. So, the strong belief created in their mind watch, the thing you want to do is always own it anyway. Means whatever you want to do in school life, you can never ever do. This is the strong belief that created in the mind of George Orwell. Okay. With this, your text is completed. Thank you. Have a nice time.